Let's take a look at the Twitter network for hashtag APSA2016 for the full 2016 American Political Science Association annual meeting in Philadelphia. For this final analysis, I expand to include August 31st and September 5th in order to account for pre-conference and post-conference discussion. As we swing into the middle of the graph, we see that APSA tweets, Women Also Know, and Monkey Cage blog figure prominently. Keep in mind, the size of the node indicates the degree tweets coming in and out, and the size of the label indicates eigencentrality, which essentially is a measure of the influence of that node based upon the influence of the nodes to which it is connected. And last, the different colors represent different neighborhoods of discussion. We see that APSA's official Twitter account had the highest degree, highest eigencentrality, and had a consistent reach to a wide range of neighborhoods. Women also know maintained a durable presence throughout the conference with a high degree, high eigencentrality, and a wide reach. I did find it interesting that its reach was focused mainly within one neighborhood of discussion. This doesn't mean that women also know was a niche discussion element, as it did have connections to influential members in other neighborhoods, but it does suggest that it was definitely most popular in its own neighborhood. The monkey cage figured prominently in the hashtag EPSA2016 universe. This was likely anchored by the popularity of their panel, How to Write About Your Research for the Monkey Cage. It's also interesting to note that the monkey cage seemed to have a pretty even number of connections to a wide range of other neighborhoods. I think this is a sign of a fairly broad appeal. Dan Dresner also appears prominently in the full graph, with a high degree and a moderate eigencentrality. This was interesting to me because he didn't figure that prominently when looking at graphs for individual days, but I suspect this had more to do with him tweeting quite a lot throughout the conference. Moving over to one of the finalists for biggest troll of the conference... While Bill Crystal did make a few waves in hashtag APSA2016 when looking at the individual day level, all in all, he really didn't have much of an impact over the duration of the conference. We can all rest a little easier. Now that we've looked at some of the more influential nodes in hashtag APSA2016 over the conference, I'd like to share with you a few summary statistics. Here's a nice visual of hashtag APSA2016 tweet volume by hour from Wednesday, August 31st through the end of Monday, September 5th. What jumps out immediately is a series of nice bell-shaped curves with spikes around 2 and 6 p.m. and dips around 5 p.m. We also see that the highest volume of tweets occurred on September 1st and September 2nd. When isolating tweet volume by hour over the four-day span of the conference, we see some pretty interesting statistics. Clearly, the hour with the highest volume of tweets was 2 p.m., followed closely by noon and 1 p.m. Also, there was an interesting dip in tweet volume around 5 p.m. Initially, I wondered if this was because people were eating dinner, but my wife pointed out that this could have been due to happy hour. This makes sense because that would be a time when people would be doing more face-to-face -face networking. And for those of you who did, good for you for not having your face stuck in your phone. Another noteworthy finding is that tweet volume really didn't pick up until after 11 o'clock in the morning each day. Interestingly, this roughly coincides with the end of the scheduled 10 o'clock panels. And the last takeaway from this graph is that there really wasn't that much activity in the morning. Roughly three times as many people tweeted about hashtag EPSA2016 at midnight than did at 10 a.m., and almost 10 times did the same at midnight when compared to 7 a.m. Looks like the night owls may have outnumbered the early birds. I also thought it would be fun to take a look at the individual hours with the highest volume of tweets. 80% of the highest volume hours fell between 2 and 6 in the afternoon on the first two full days of the conference. The remaining 20% came at 7 and 8 p.m. on September 1st. And last, I performed a content analysis of individual words in all tweets mentioning hashtag APSA2016. It's important to note that this word count does not include hashtags and ampersands, so you won't see some of the more popular nodes, such as hashtag women also know, or at monkey cage blog. By far, the most popular word in these tweets was panel, which indicates a significant interest in the presenters at the conference. Also of note were the words political and politics, 
paper, book, and research, and one that kind of surprised me, Booth. This tells us that while people were talking about the academic side of the conference, they also gave a lot of attention to the exhibitors. Having identified the more popular words and tweets, I wanted to see how those mapped out in our Twitter network. Since the raw content analysis didn't include hashtags and ampersands, I thought this might lead to an underrepresentation of tweets mentioning women. This was important considering the popularity of hashtag women also know stuff and ampersand women also know. So first, I isolated all tweets with the word women in any part of the message and then highlighted those yellow. Here's a look at tweets mentioning women coming in or out of the women also know node. First reaction, those are a lot of tweets. Also, you'll note that the majority of these tweets seem to be centered around the middle of the network, with fewer reaching out to the edges of the network. One big takeaway is, tweets with the word women in them were generally concentrated amongst the more influential members in the network. Let's indulge with a quick flyby. Next, I wanted to take a look at two other pretty popular words in the content analysis. Those were politics and political. Big surprise, right? These I highlighted in teal. In contrast to tweets mentioning women, which was a central theme of the conference this year, tweets mentioning politics and political science had a much wider reach throughout the entirety of the network. This wasn't much of a surprise, but it's really cool to see nonetheless. Having highlighted tweets mentioning politics or political, and tweets mentioning women, I was kind of curious about the interaction of those two types of tweets within the same network. So I combined the tweets mentioning women in yellow and the tweets mentioning politics or political in teal and introduced a new color for tweets mentioning both women and political and politics in magenta. I thought this would be a cool way to illustrate the interaction between those two types of tweets and to see where they mapped out inside of our hashtag APSA2016 Twitter network. And finally, I wanted to isolate tweets mentioning panel, paper, and research. Since these words represented the core of our activities at the conference, I wanted to see how they mapped out in the network. After doing so, there were three things that really stood out to me. First, and not surprising, there was a high frequency of tweets mentioning these words connected to the APSA tweets node. There was also a pretty high frequency of these types of tweets connected to the Women Also Know node. Surprisingly, very few types of these tweets were connected to the Monkey Cage blog node. I suspect this was strongly influenced by the role Monkey Cage played at the conference, specifically the nature of their panel and the types of tweets either going into or out from their node. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, just an observation. So there you have it. I'll leave you with one last look at all the neighborhoods of discussion for the Twitter network surrounding hashtag APSA2016 over the entirety of the 2016 American Political Science Association annual meeting in Philadelphia. I'd like to take a moment to thank those who have liked and retweeted the videos in this series. And I especially want to thank the APSA organization for showing their interest and encouragement. I hope you all found these videos as interesting to watch as I found them interesting to make. Feel free to follow me at Eric Vorst on Twitter as I plan to continue posting some of my network analysis research as I complete it. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all at hashtag APSA 2017.